Okay, this is a Google Micro Kitchen. Now notice the refrigerator. Notice the top half, the glass is clear, right? The bottom, it's frosted. So when you're thirsty or hungry, unless you're really looking for the Snickers bar or the Coke, you'll go and take something that's eye-level, appealing, and clear. Your brain works that way. Now, if you really want the Coke, we're not dictatorial. It's down at the bottom, but you can see the bottom, these little fuzzy outlines of red and green and things like that. Fascinating. Google did a fascinating behavioral economics experiment with M&Ms. And you'll have to read the book to hear the rest of that. My favorite intervention, or my favorite nudge, is the company that put a, a full-scale mirror next to a vending machine. Love that nudge. So the second part is the environment, the physical environment. Uh, we spend 90% of our lives in some form of built environment. And up until 2013, we're now just beginning to understand how much the physical environment we in, are in impacts our, our cognition, the way we feel, our energy levels, uh, the CO2 level in here. Those of you who are falling asleep right now, I'm going to blame it on the CO2 levels right now. The light that's in my eyes, that's going to affect how I sleep tonight because of my circadian optic nerve. This has a tremendous Po this can have a tremendous negative or positive impact on us, and we're just beginning to learn how to do that. All these different systems of the body are affected by the environment. The chairs you're sitting on are hurting you right now. 